Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about using press releases to promote apps. Okay, so today I want to answer a question that came in a couple of weeks ago on episode 559. And that was the episode where we talked about app awards and I've never won an app award, but that's okay because I don't really believe in them. But there was a really good question on that video from John Reed who said, if you accept that awards are nothing more than a promotional device, it leads to the question, do you use press releases? Right? Really good question, John. To, to answer it, yeah, we have used press releases a bit in the past, but only like five or six times. The experience was so underwhelming that I, I don't, I've never even talked about it. In fact, I forgot that we had done them, right? So when we released uh, the first few apps, we, you know, somebody had told me, somebody had given me advice saying you should do press releases. It's kind of one of these situations where I think people keep giving each other advice and nobody ever stops to say, does this actually work? So somebody says, you should do a press release. So I said, okay, it doesn't really seem newsworthy because it's an app, but we did a press release and it just felt kind of dumb to do it. So, you know, um, Overpass Apps is releasing the new application called such and such and owner and founder Eric Ruley says, we're very excited about this new development and all this kind of stuff and it's like it's written for the press but it's like yeah it just didn't really do anything so i mean i would have been further ahead if i'd written the press release down on a piece of paper and thrown it out the window because then maybe somebody would have found it but I, we didn't really see anything with that so so it never really helped me at all now uh, like a year later where we released a uh, vietnamese flash quiz and we released like a bunch of games in in a row so it was a lot of variations on the theme and um and we had hired a new person who was doing some seo for us and he was doing a really good job but he was like saying you should do a press release and i was like, we, we tried that before and it didn't really work and he said well let me write the press release and, and we could distribute it and, and see how it does and and sh so i said sure go ahead he, re he released the press release through i think it was pr web there's like there was like two major ones at the time we went with the cheaper one right and sure enough like a week later i got a phone call from somebody saying we read your press release on Vietnamese Flash Quiz and we would like to feature it on our show. Say, so I work for a show at the Discovery Channel and we do, it's like a technology show and we would like to feature your application on our show. And I was dumbstruck. I was thinking, wow, press releases actually work. So we had this conversation and as we're going through it, it, it kind of turned out he didn't really know anything about, about the app. And even then I was kind of like, are you sure this is the app you want to use? And I even asked him that after a while. I said, why do you want to do this app and not one of our other apps? And he said, we can do any of your apps you want, right? And then, of course, then that's when I got onto the fact that really there was a price coming up. And then he basically said, they, I think it was, they charged like $5,000 or something to have like a five minute segment on this show that goes on the Discovery Channel. And I thought none of that seemed worth it. And really, I was just a mark. I was a cold call recipient. And after that, I think it just left a bad taste in my mouth. I thought, you know, I'm not going to do this press release thing anymore. I, I, I haven't found anything worthwhile in it. You know, the assumption is my, I, I didn't think like a major news outlet would pick it up anyway. And I was, I was so skeptical. It just seemed like, it seemed dumb doing it. And I didn't think like a major news outlet like the New York Times would take it. But I thought maybe some blog somewhere will, will feature it because they're, they're lacking content and we'll have a backlink to our app or something like that. But no, nothing. It was just nothing right so I, I, but I wanted to bring this up because it's the kind of thing where I'm thinking is it something that I just didn't do the right way or is it just something that's dead because I'm thinking if everybody's releasing these kind of things these press releases then they're worthless nobody's gonna go through and read them all if every time anybody releases an app or a, or a new product or something they release this press release which is boring and one-sided and very corporate nobody's going to do anything with it. So it's a really good qu question, John. And to, to answer it, we have tried press releases and I haven't had any success there, but I would like to ask you guys out there, have any of you ever released a press release and got some traction from it where you're thinking this has really helped out our cause? Because I think you know, writing your own blog post and posting it to social media channels and groups is much more effective because then unless, at least then people see it and there's other ways to get your information out there. And the press release, it was just, it was nothing. It was just, you know, it was a, it was a loss in a sea of press releases. So that that was my experience. But 
let me know guys in the comments if you've had any success with this because if you had had success with it i mean i'll try it again but i just of all the times i've tried it which is probably about it may be a half a dozen times it was at least it was at least five times that we've released press releases and nothing pff, nothing so let me know if you guys have had any success with that or if you, and what, what you have had success with. Anyway, that is it for today. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow.